गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विथ आवर सेशन विद सिटी होस्टेड द रीजनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ड्रग्स स्मगलिंग एंड नेशनल सिक्योरिटी सो यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर एंड हु इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ कॉपरेशन मिस्टर अमित शाह chairs the regional conference on drug trafficking and national security that was organized in new delhi and in the presence of our union home minister more than 1.4 lakh kg of narcotics was destroyed in different parts of the country which is a record for a single day okay so which city has hosted this regional conference on drugs smuggling and national security answer would be new delhi now apart from it india has signed agreement with the country uae for the establishment of it campus in which location so indian prime minister narendra modi recently visited uae and during his visit india and uae signed agreements pertaining to the utilization of local currencies for cross border transaction and the establishment of iit campus in abu dhabi and uh, our prime minister's recent visit to the uae marked his fifth visit to the country since assuming office in 2014 okay so you can be asked that india is set to establish an iit campus in which location answer would be abu dhabi where is the Chachin Grazing Festival celebrated. So this festival is celebrated in the state of Arunachal Pradesh by the local graziers of the Tawang region near the Bumla Pass. And this two-day event held this year witnessed participation from the graziers all across the Tawang region. And uh, Chachin and other traditional grazing areas near the Bumla Pass. have played a crucial role in sustaining the local monpa way of life okay so where is the chachin grazing festival celebrated answer would be arunachal pradesh next question is isro is jointly developing a nuclear powered engine along with which institution so india's space agency isro is jointly developing a nuclear powered engine along with bark beans bhaba atomic research center and both the institutions collaborate to develop radio thermoelectric generators and uh, us spacecraft like voyager cassini and curiosity have been powered by rtgs okay means radio thermoelectric generators so now isro is jointly developing a nuclear powered engine along with bark then apart from it India signed a memorandum of understanding for linking of India's UPI with the instant payment platform of which country so India and UAE have recently signed three MOUs in banking and education sectors and these MOUs in the banking sector pertain to the use of local currencies for cross border transactions and cooperation for interlinking their payment and messaging systems okay so india and uae have signed this mou for linking of india's upi with the instant payment platform of uae okay which country recently signed accession protocol for the comprehensive and progressive agreement for trans pacific partnership basically uk officially signed accession protocol for the comprehensive and progressive agreement for trans pacific partnership so entry into force of the agreement will take place once the uk and cptpp parties have finished their legislative process fine so uk have signed this accession protocol for the comprehensive and progressive agreement for trans pacific partnership then can you tell me which country recently launched a pilot project in south asia region for tax and financial crime investigation so our finance minister nirmala sitaraman announces pilot project in south asia region 
for tax and financial crime investigation under India's G20 presidency. And this pilot program was launched in collaboration with OECD for the South Asian region at the regional campus of National Academy of Direct Taxes that lies in New Delhi. Okay. So India has recently launched this pilot project in South Asia region for tax and financial crime investigation. Full form of OECD is Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. This tennis player won the Wimbledon men's singles title in 2023. So winner is Carlos Alcaraz who is from the country Spain. So he has defeated Novak Djokovic to claim his first Wimbledon title and Novak Djokovic is seven time champion we know. So this was uh, Carlos Alcaraz second Grand Slam because earlier he has also won the US Open right. Also he ended Novak Djokovic's hopes of a record equaling 24th Grand Slam titles right. So the winner of this Wimbledon men's single title is Carlos Alcaraz and he's from the country Spain. He has defeated Novak Djokovic to win this title and Novak Djokovic is from the country Serbia. Okay. Next is Kirthana Pandyan who was seen in the news recently plays which sport. So Kirthana Pandyan defeated fellow Indian Anupama Ramchandra in the final in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. So she emerged as the IBSF World Under 21 Women's Snooker Champion. Also Natasha Chetan clinched a bronze medal and don't forget that Dhruv Patel was declared as the best performer in the men's title who went down in the quarterfinals. Okay. So Kirthana Pandyan is associated with snooker. Now apart from it, Umin Chandi who passed away recently was the former chief minister of which state or the union territory. So he was the former Kerala chief minister and recently he passed away at the age of 79 years. He served as a chief minister from 2004 to 2006, also from 2011 to 2016. So he became active in politics through the Kerala Students Union and the Youth Congress. So at the age of 27 years, he won the Kerala Legislative Assembly seat from his constituency. Also he served as Home Minister, Finance Minister and Labour Minister. Okay. So you can be asked that Oman Chandi, who passed away recently, was the former chief minister of which was the former chief minister of which state? So answer would be Kerala state. Next question is: Nomadic elephant is a military exercise between India and which other country? So nomadic elephant is a joint military exercise between India and Mongolia, and this exercise for 2023 is scheduled to be conducted at. Ulan Bator in the country Mongolia from 17 to 31st of July 2023. And Indian Army is represented by a contingent consisting of total 43 personnel. And this exercise is alternatively conducted between India and Mongolia. The last edition was conducted in 2019 at the Special Forces Training School in Baklo. Okay. So two things are important. Nomadic elephant is the exercise between India and Mongolia and this year the venue is also Mongolia. The next question is where was the G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting held? So the G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting was held on 17th and 18th of July 2023 in Gandhi Nagar in the state of Gujarat and this meeting was jointly chaired by Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and Governor of Reserve Bank of India Shri Shaktikan Das. So during the meeting India and Indonesia have announced the initiation of India-Indonesia Economic and Financial Dialogue which basically aims to enhance the collaboration between the two countries and promote a shared understanding of the global matters. Okay. 
so what was the venue for g20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting answer would be gujarat state okay also don't forget that our governor of reserve bank of india mr shakti gan das has been conferred with this year's governor of the year award fine where was the regional conference on drugs smuggling and national security held so the regional conference on drugs smuggling and national security was held recently at new delhi we have discussed this question earlier and this is a repeated question and this meeting was chaired by our union home minister amit shah which union ministry has recently launched the artificial intelligence for india 2.0 program basically on the occasion of world youth skills day the union minister of skill development mr dharmendra pradhan has launched the ai for india 2.0 which is a complementary artificial intelligence skill training program that is available in different type of indian languages basically you can say that it is an online program accredited by ncvet and it madras and uh, it is a collaborative effort between skill india and guvi okay so ai for india 2.0 program is associated with union ministry of skill development now which company has recently launched the chat gpt rival bard in european union brazil and in other nations so tech major google has recently announced the chat gpt rival bard in european union brazil and several more nations basically in the month of march 2023 bard was launched in the us and uk and google has also now added new features to this bard which apply worldwide okay and these features include for example the ability for the chatbot to speak its answers back to you and for it to respond to the prompts that also include the images okay so recently google has launched the chat gpt rival bard in european union brazil and other nations now can you tell me the bhumi samman awards is associated with the implementation of which scheme so president of india draupadi murmu presented the bhumi samman 2023 to the state secretaries and the district collectors along with their teams who have excelled in achieving saturation of the core components of digital india land record modernization program okay so these awards were presented in a function at new delhi that was organized by the union ministry of rural development okay so you can be asked that bhumi samman award is associated with the implementation of which scheme so answer would be digital india land record modernization program the next question is which state or the union territory implements mukhya mantri sabha gruh scheme so odisha state has recently announced that it will build 2000 meeting halls as a part of mukhya mantri sabha gruh scheme in the western odisha and now the state is preparing to face both assembly and the general elections in one year who is the chief minister of odisha mr navin patnaik so he has inaugurated and laid the foundation stone for several projects worth 33 crore rupees okay so mukhya mantri sabha gruh scheme is implemented by odisha state the next question is where song 18 icbm was tested by which country recently so north korea has recently conducted a test of its latest intercontinental ballistic missile called as vasong 18 and the country for the first time has used the solid propellants in an intercontinental ballistic missile so this missile was first unveiled at 8th of february 2023 parade that commemorates the 75th anniversary of the founding of the korean people's army okay so two three things are important first of all vasong 18 is associated with which country answer would be north korea also you have to remember that this is an intercontinental ballistic missile then apart from it india and france will extend their defense cooperation 
in advanced aeronautical technologies by supporting the joint development of a combat aircraft engine and an engine for the indian multi role helicopter and this helicopter is being designed and developed by the state owned hindustan aeronautics limited fine so you can be asked that india is set to co develop combat aircraft engine and the engine for the indian multi role helicopter with which country so that would be france next question is very very important from where was chandrayaan 3 lunar mission launched so chandrayaan 3 which is india's third lunar mission and second endeavor to achieve a soft landing on the moon lifted off from the satish dhawan space center from shri harikota andhra pradesh and uh, it serves as india's sole space port for launching the spacecraft and satellite so chandrayaan 3 consists of a lander named as vikram and a rover named as pragyan that is similar to chandrayaan 2 but do remember that it does not contain any orbiter it does not possess any type of orbiter in it okay so chandrayaan 3 lunar mission was launched from shri harikota andhra pradesh the next question is which state or the union territory introduced the school board service basically to assist underprivileged students who are living on the islands of dumbur lake in the gumati district the tripura school education department has introduced a complimentary school board service which enables them to reach school without any charge and the cluster of 48 islands surrounding dumbur lake situated 120 km from the state capital agartala relies on fishing as the primary livelihood for the island residents okay so recently school board service has been introduced by tripura state government also which state has recently planned to establish sadak suraksha force so punjab government plans to establish a specialized force called as sadak suraksha force which aims to prevent the road accident and improve the traffic flow so this force will consist of nearly 1300 personnel who will be stationed at the national and the state highways so they will work towards ensuring the road safety by equipping with body cameras breath analyzers and interceptors to monitor the vehicle speed so recently punjab government has planned to establish sadak suraksha force next question is which country has launched an initiative to reduce clothing waste by reimbursing the cloth repairs basically in an inventive initiative france government is addressing the clothing waste by promoting a novel program that encourages repairing rather than disposing of the clothes that are close to being unusable so as a part of this program individuals who opt to repair their clothing will receive reimbursements ranging from 6 to 25 euros which is equivalent to 533 to 2306 rupees to cover the cost of mending okay recently france government has launched this initiative to reduce the clothing waste by reimbursing the cloth repairs the next question is how many people living with hiv globally were unable to obtain hiv treatment basically in 2022 nearly 9.2 million individuals are living with hiv globally were unable to obtain hiv treatment and this was provided by a report the name of which is the path that ends the aid okay further the report highlighted that uh, even among the 2.1 million people who received the treatment a significant number were not able to achieve viral suppression fine right? so simply you have to remember this figure that uh, 9.2 million people living with hiv globally were unable to obtain hiv treatment now apart from it the maputo protocol which was seen in the news recently is associated with which field so this is an international human rights instrument that was established by the african union that went into effect in 2005 basically a report has told that there has been some progress on gender equality in africa due to this maputo protocol so simply you have to remember that this protocol is associated with human rights and women rights iit delhi is 
to set up offshore campus in which Indian city. So IIT Delhi has signed an agreement to establish a campus in Abu Dhabi as we have talked earlier. Basic aim is to promote educational and research collaboration between India and the UAE. And this campus will offer both undergraduate and postgraduate programs in different disciplines. Also, we have seen that IIT Madras has earlier announced a similar venture where in Zanzibar in the country, Tanzania, right? So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahad Sana, signing off.